What's up, nerd turds? Dr. Banjo from Horror Body Reviews, and today I'm going to show you all my DVD horror collection. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube doing this, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And starting off, I have Friday the 13th, the box set. came out uh, probably five or six years ago, and it's uh, it's got one through Jason Takes Manhattan on there. Really sweet box set, a lot of cool bonus features. Then I got uh, the Friday the 13th Part 3 3D, which I just had always wanted to see this movie in 3D, and this was the first time they put it out with the glasses and in 3D, and it gives you a headache, but it's pretty cool still. Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, His Name Was Jason, which is a really sweet documentary, Freddy vs. Jason, Nightmare on Elm Street, and then I got the sequels, part two, with those gay undertones. As shitty as this movie is, I think it's one of my favorite sequels, just because it's just so weird. And then we got part three, which is the best sequel. And then this was one of those four disc ones. It has five, Freddy's Dead, New Nightmare, and Freddy vs. Jason on there. And I got this bad boy, Halloween. Amazing movie. Halloween 2. Halloween H2O. Halloween Resurrection, my favorite Halloween sequel, part four, good stuff, part five, and these are both the special editions that came out, uh, pretty sweet, Curse of Michael Myers, which I think is pretty underrated, I think it's a pretty good movie, uh, a lot of people rag on it, but I think it's decent, the Rob Zombie Halloween, which a lot of people shit on this movie, but I enjoyed it, nowhere near the original, but... Halloween 2, which I liked more than Halloween 1, the remake. Then I got ugh, House of a Thousand Corpses, which I love this movie. Devil's Rejects, which is one of my favorite fucking movies. So fucking awesome. Uh, whatever. And then this is the Sleepaway Camp Survival Kit, which has Sleepaway Camp 1, 2, and 3. And then the Return to Sleepaway Camp, which came out like 20 years after the first one and we're waiting like so many years for this fucking thing to come out because there were so many problems releasing it but overall it's not exactly as great as I wanted it to be but I enjoyed it I think it's really funny My Bloody Valentine April Fool's Day dual thing both good movies Prom Night not really into this movie I thought it kind of sucked except for that sleazy greaser guy who was really funny because he was such a dirtball Pieces from uh, Grindhouse Releasing, pretty cool movie, Psycho 2, 3, and 4, never got around to watching the fourth one, watched some of the third one, but the second one was pretty sweet, I liked it a lot, Happy Birthday to Me, Slaughter High, fucking cool movie, except it's full screen, I don't think they ever put a widescreen out, so, gotta take what you can, Maniac Cop that I got at a... Uh, ShopRite or an AMP or something, and a really bad transfer, but it's still a cool movie. Jeepers Creepers, American Psycho, and some other movies. Love American Psycho. Hatchet, fantastic. Behind the Mask, Rise of Elizabeth Vernon, great movie. Dark Ride, pretty shitty movie. Um, Led, Lead to Rest, awesome slasher movie, really gory. Hills Run Red, another really slash, ugh, really gory slasher. Texas Chainsaw, the uh, tin one. Awesome movie, awesome transfer on this. Uh, tons of bonus features. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, great sequel. Really funny, really bloody. Leatherface, decent sequel, not as good as the first two. The Texas Chainsaw remake, which I really liked and thought they did a great job with course not as good as the original but it's still out of the sequels I think it's one of my favorite ones Texas Chainsaw the beginning pretty good follow-up House of Wax is one of my guilty pleasures I think this is a great movie I really enjoy it and even though it is Paracelt in it whatever Misery great movie Saw 1 Saw 3 I don't have the other ones I'll probably pick them up on Blu-ray at some point but Hostel 1 
a Citizen Toxie, Toxic Avenger 4, and this was signed by Lloyd Kaufman. Awesome guy, really nice. Poultry Geist, another trauma movie. Fucking love this movie. So funny, so bloody, so awesome. This is Jaws. Nothing really. Jaws 2. Piranha. Fucking cool movie. Cool beans. King Kong. I don't know why I really have this in horror. I guess I had nowhere else to put it. Chud. It's a really, really uh, cheesy movie. But it's got fucking Daniel Stern in it. And he's awesome. Why are some of these backwards? I don't know. The Descent. Great movie if you've never seen it. And this is the end of part one. I don't know what my uh, time limit is on this shit. So I'm just going to stop and put another one up.